here's what we have heard. Here's what we see. Here's what the goals of the companies are, company is, and here's what we're doing about it. The whole circle. To Lead is a remote first company based out of Canada. What makes a world-class Microsoft 365 internet and digital workplace. So what we've seen with like Glint, let me let me just show Glint for a second as I'm showing View Insights, right? So you have things like that. What we've seen with Glint is they've started to think about how do they integrate that with Viva Insights, right? And how do they integrate that with digital signals? So you have these sort of lagging indicators of employee sat. It's pulse surveys, so they can be pretty like bite-sized surveys. I want to be clear, there's like better models for surveying, but they're still lagging, right? Indicators no matter what. And to your point, you know, they're, they're a little bit questionable in terms of the data accuracy sometimes. And so, um, how do you compare that with like digital signals and then improve reporting? And so there's some really clever ways that Microsoft's been exploring this. Um, you know, some some examples with well-being, where they've looked at like those survey results about how people feel uh, about their employee experience and things like that. And then they've correlated that against you know overages and hours, right? If they're working a lot of extra hours um, after hours, or if there's yeah. you know a lot of manager, you know. Um, not micromanagement, but a lot of uh, manager less empowerment, right? Where they're in a lot of calls and things like that. Or, um, you know, in, in these examples, um, looking at things like, uh, you know, again, like how uh, the meeting time for after hours might correlate to potentially, you know, signal data from that. So, um, you know, do you have any opinions on like how you feel, you know, whether it's employee surveying, like in general, getting the voice of employees and hearing them, how that might be changing or improving? Well, Microsoft definitely is trying to conquer the world because every time I look around, they're acquired and acquired a new company with a gap that I thought they had before, like Glint or like Ally. Like I'm sure we're going to talk about that later. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't think there's a perfect answer. I mean, especially in the survey business, I've I've researched that quite a bit also. And you know, stuff that Survey Monkey has written, stuff that Glint has written, and others like that. There is no perfect way of doing it, but you got to start somewhere. Yeah. And I'm glad where Microsoft is going, where it's a combination of what you're asking people and what you're observing and looking at the signals and looking at the answers. And yes, answers are super important because as we know, you need to listen. And how do you listen? Well, survey is a way of listening, asking yeah. and hearing. So a person doesn't feel, hey, they never asked me this thing. Why should I care? Well, yes, we do care. Here you go. But then also the other part of the other co part of the coin is responding. Here's what we have heard. Here's what we see. Here's what the goals of the companies are. Company is, and here's what we're doing about it. The whole circle. Yeah. It can't just be about we we'll listen, we we'll listen. All right, let's go ahead and do the same thing as we were doing before. <laughs> so uh, it's all connected. It's all coming together with piece by piece with the OKRs of the Ally, with you know Glint and Insights and everything else. It's going to take time. It's it's once again one of those blank canvases where people draw things on it, and some people will succeed. Others will not, just to be honest. That's how it's yeah. going to be. But hopefully Microsoft's guidance is going to go the right direction in that.